So, hey, finally, we're live on Facebook. So tell me, where are you joining us from? Where are you joining for Uniband, Law Student, Jeffrey, you in Benin? Lawyer. 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 Let me check who is joining us on Facebook now. Share this video if you're on Facebook. Tell us where you're joining from. Uh, tell us where you're joining from. Do a watch party. That's the S. Do a watch party. Tell us where you're joining from. So how are you all doing today? Lagos, Peridots. Peridots. Is it the Peridot I know? Steph. Steph Nora, Lagos, Godwin, Uyo, Obi, Inewi, Hi, Inewi, Jennifer from Facebook, Otakot. Good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? This is Charles Campbell, the boss of the Global Bosses. Bossing everyone. But you know what? I'm not your boss. I'm not your boss. I'm not your boss. Your calendar is your boss. Get back from Abuja. Get back from Abuja, Facebook. The day of four. I'm back to the I know. <laughs> um, Akudo, a point stage. Eric, Rwanda. Hey, I is Rwanda. Rwanda is one place I would love to visit. So on my bucket list, I need to go and see that place. Pamela from Uyo, Esther from Kaduna, Comfort from Makodi, Vivian Asaba. Okay, so share, share this video, share this guys. Share it, 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 share it. ATM, apply the ATM method. When you see a program like this, do the ATM method. Add, meaning in this app, in this respect, you add people to the chat, let them tag them. That's the next thing to do. Then, then uh, message them at the end of the webinar. Message them, message them at the end of the webinar and ask them what they love about it. Guys, I'm back. Esther, for me, battle. Let's see if our guest is up now. Um, um. Let's see if our guest is up. Yeah, you're my Anna, bro. Vivian, and see you guys. Well done. So 
go, guys. Oh. Great, 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 great. Now, now, now. So what do you love about this program so far? I like asking that question. Let me get your feedback. What do you love about this? Drop in the chat box, in the comments. This is your, if this is your first time joining us in this program, drop one, one, one in the chat box. When, 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 when. Drop that in the chat box. One, one, one. This is your first time. This fine. One, one, one. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yes. If you are, if you are old, you've been following this program, and you have not missed any episode. Because this is episode 27. Job Submoji, if you have not missed any episode. Job some emoji. Thank you, frontline team, for doing a watch party. If you are doing a watch party, job watch party, let me let me let me call your Facebook. Yeah. Drop one one. Drop one one one. The chat box. If you are new, if you are old, you've not missed any episode. Drop some emoji. Uh, okay. Our guest is here now. My grand OP hmm? woman who showed me the ropes in this business. Yeah, boss. How are you today, boss? Hey, Najuki. Hello. Hello, ma. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but your video is not on. Your video is not on, okay. Can I hear you clearly? You cannot start your video because you lost that. You cannot have the video. Okay, just wait. Uh, hello. Yep. I can I, I can't see the video. So you have to enable me. Ah. The video, yeah. Click, click, click the video sign to come up. Okay, I've done that. Still not allowing you. Let me make you. Try it now, let me see. You are the host now. Click the video sign, the, the where you see video camera.
I've done that. No, it's not showing. It's just hearing your audio. Now, I think he wants to show now. What about Great. now? Now, okay. Mm -hmm. Powerful. I lost. The dog okay. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Nice are you, having you. We are in, Hello, we, are, we are in Asaba, but we are, this time we are in different parts, <laughs> but connected Great. online. Power of technology, okay. guys. Great. So, so let, let's get started. Let me just introduce our guests because of time. Well, now we, Dr. Agatha is a medical doctor, entrepreneur. Dr. Agatha Diden, I mean, is a medical doctor, uh, entrepreneur, trainer, and a philanthropist. She has been in the medical field for over 25 years. She loves helping people. And that was what led her to embrace network marketing and got to the top of Longridge as the first medical doctor to become a one-star director in Africa. As a medical doctor, she, she has helped so many people get to the top mm -hmm. of this company in a suburb. The business uh, got a new phase as a result of her entering the business in, in the South South, in the South. And today, She's even the first person to become star director in the South. Look at what she said. She said, I am grateful to God for giving me the privilege to come in contact with this amazing platform uh, that's helped me to build a team in Asaba. All these success stories that you see all uh, in the company, uh, she's saying thank you to the chairman for bringing this, making this possible. She's married to four lovely children and I had, for me to add to this, so on, when, when I got started in this business, I, I, I asked my offline to show me someone that will teach me how to make money because I was broke then. I needed money to get out of my situation. So my offline, Mrs. Sinek, I said, okay, no problem. I will introduce you to my offline. So she is my grand offline. So I will introduce you to my offline. And I went to her with my collar, my neck collar on my neck. So I said, look, madam, I said, for me, doctors are the most difficult people to introduce to our business. So when I say she's doing this business passionately, I had to ask, okay, please teach me what it takes to grow in this business. So I saw a medical doctor drawing our circles. <laughs> you know how the circles? So those circles, many people are scared of. Anytime you see people drawing circles, uh, uh, the, the matrix is, uh, is the pyramid scheme. <laughs> Once they see those things, she started drawing those things. She taught me what performance bonus was, development bonus, leadership bonus. And I said, look, Ma, I want to launch my business. She introduced me to the leaders in the company. And that's how I launched my business. Today, as a result of that decision, but hundreds of millionaires in our team, and she has helped many people outside our team to do what they are doing well in this business. And when they even when some people saw the flyer, they even said, "Ah, the doctor Agatha." Some of them never even knew they're a doctor. They said, ah, she's a doctor and she's doing this wonderful work. So we are we are excited to have you here, ma'am. Can, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we are excited to have you here, ma'am. My grand for peace for life. <laughs> so I want to ask you this question. Okay. How did you, because long, I know uh, Longreach is your first network marketing company. Hello, Very guys. Good. Hello. Can you hear me? Longreach is our first network marketing company. So for those who are saying, this is not my team, so let's hear from Doc. How did you join mm -hmm. this business? Okay. Okay. Were, you, were, you, were you in love with network marketing before? Let's talk about your, 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 what was your opinion about network marketing before? 
before you join Longbridge? Actually, I just feel it's a business for lazy people and for people that don't have job. That's the way I feel, you know, not even there to actually do a research and know exactly what networking is all about. I just concluded it's for people that don't have jobs. That's the truth. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> people like me that don't have a job, and I have a job. <laughs> so uh, now, one now, I know several people must have approached you in in other companies. Mm, but now, yeah. what now attracted you to join Longbridge, and when did you join? Okay, first of all, the boss man, I would love to appreciate God for this great privilege. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because. I know the step of a good man is ordered by God. You know, it was God that ordered my style because I'm one of those people that will tell you networking, MLA is no, 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 no. You understand? For my own reasons, that might not be correct. You understand? So is God that ordered my steps. I stand to be corrected and I know that is the right thing. And yes. also, I want to use this opportunity. Sorry, I was speaking like two minutes of your time, you know, no to appreciate uh, our chairman for this great dream, you know, because he built a network, he built this platform to help a lot of people, you understand. So he's a good man. I want to appreciate our chairman, Alex, you know, a language team. I want to appreciate all our star directors because it's a great tool, it's not easy. You know, to build is a lot of work, you know, they are doing so well, and I want to appreciate them. I want to use this great opportunity to appreciate all of them, all our style directors, language members. I want to also appreciate our number one because I always tell her that she's a woman that saw tomorrow, you know, because she allowed God to use that. She would have said no to language and have not been language today in Nigeria. She said yes, and that's why all of us we are doing this business. I want to appreciate her, you know, for her insight. Also, want to appreciate my. Uh, Upline Oluchi Abraham, SD4 Oluchi Abraham, you know, she's my mentor in this business. She's a friend and she's a sister. You know, I'm going to tell the story how I came on board. She's part of the story. Yeah. I I, I just appreciated our number one a, a star director five, SD5, uh TT Jimagra. She's a great woman. I want to appreciate. Uh, Ima SD2, Ima Eduru, another great man, you know, and I want to also appreciate all the star directors once again. Why I'm actually appreciating SD Ima Eduru is because he's not my upline, he's not even in my team. When I joined Longbridge, he was the first person I, I, in, I really had a deep conversation with and he told me i'm going to help you to build this business i'm going to anything you need my presence in a suburb for training i will be there for you and for the first one year he came to us about three times to train our team so i give it to him he's a nice man and i appreciate you as the two he might do yeah so i also want to appreciate my leaders my first leader mr chutes and the wife oluchi these are also wonderful people. Uh, they are the very first people I got in Long Beach and I didn't really market them, you know? And as I'm going to be sharing my story, how I come into Long Beach, uh, I'm going to be talking about other things that will help people, you know, to know how to market their business and how to do this business rightly. You know, these people, I've never met them, you know, they are their customer in a business. They heard about language and because they know about my kind of person, somebody even marketed them before me, you know, but they told the person that if ever they want to do this business, they would like to do with Dr. Island because they know she's somebody that has so much integrity. She's somebody that is committed and has so much passion, you know, and that was how they came to my office to inquire what the language all about. And then I just had little experience about uh, language or little uh, information about the business. I was just barely one, uh, less than one year in the business. I was still learning the business. And they joined the business and we started building. So I want to appreciate them for believing in me. And I also want to appreciate other leaders like yourself, the boss man, 
you know, you're one of my uh, one of my success lines too, and your down lines and other uh, great leaders. There are many. If I want to be calling names, I don't think I think the next three hours will still be here. So I just want to appreciate those people. I will still be appreciating others. And for now, I think uh, let me stop there. I generally appreciate all our achievers, members, and other group they have given birth to. They are too numerous to mention right now. So Fantastic. I don't know if you can ask your question again. I was deviated. <laughs> <laughs> I love the appreciation, beginning with the appreciation. Yeah. Gratitude first, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so now the question is uh, let me rephrase. Mm -hmm. How, yes, yes, you, you add a different, a, a, a wrong notion, let me put it that way, about network marketing. So how come, yeah. how did you now join Longreach? What made you to not join Longreach? Actually, what made me to join this Longreach is my kind of person, me, I'm the kind of person I, I, I love making, you know, people happy and uh, nothing, because I know nothing makes life sweeter than making people very happy. So the story how I embrace language is this. One Saturday, I went to gym. I was in the gym, you know, gym, you know, in Asabahe. A guy walked to me and Dr. Swilen, I know you, I want to snap, you are doing very well. You are doing great on the treadmill. I was on the treadmill, you know, and I don't like making people feel bad, you know. I just gave him a phone and he snapped me. And I just told him, thank you. He walked away. Then later, you know, when I was leaving the gym, he walked again to me and I want to have a word with you. I said, ah, I hope I'm, I'm safe. He said, no, man, you are just okay. That uh, there's something uh, that is bothering and I want to discuss with you. I said, okay, go on. She said, he said, his name is Richard. Richard said, my wife just left me and I feel... You can talk to her, you can help me talk to her to come back. Ah, I've not met you before. How do you know I can do that? And I don't even know whether you are a bullying and I don't know, you know? So this is not what we can be talking about right here. I told him to see me in my office. We exchanged phone numbers. So on Monday, he came to my office and I put a call to the wife and she's, you know, she told me her own side of the story and she was not ready to, you know, open up so much, you know, because the private thing, I told her not to worry that we'll be talking. And was I, I met Richard for the first time and we started talking and uh, the woman left a child. I was helping him, you know, with the child and everything, encouraging him. And I told him, Richard, you are so depressed. Why not come to the church, you know, so that after church service, we keep talking. And he agreed, started attending my church. We started talking from there, you know, and like three weeks after we met, I traveled out. I was away three weeks, came back and I went to church. And after the church service, Richard was selling language products, you know, after the church service in the church. And he called me, doctor, you know, uh, I'll be looking for you and you know, I'll be asking people, they said, I don't know, maybe you travel now, you're not around and all that. I said, yes, I traveled and better I'm back now. You know, he told me about the language that he just signed up online with, uh, uh, with somebody and he doesn't know so much of the business that he feels the business is cool. And he wants me to come on board so that I can be helping him to get the product, you know, that he always travels to Portaco to get this product. I said, Portaco, why Portaco? I said, there is no stockings around Asaba. I said, okay, we'll talk about it later. I said, funny enough, somebody gave me this toothpaste. I use this face in Germany, but I don't know about it. And the lady does not know about it. It didn't tell me anything about it. And that's the mistake most of us we make, you know? This, our product, is a seed. You need to sow it, you know? You need to sow the seed to germinate, you know? It's a big business. But people don't, people hardly talk about it. They just use this product and get the benefit and, you know, a lot of ceremony and they just keep it. To know much about the place is very good. You know, I was not telling other people in the church. I said, please buy the suitcase, it's very good. This piece is very good. It can keep your mouth clean and fresh for eight to 12 hours. So they were not buying the place. And I told the guy to see me in the house later in the evening, and he came. And 
He came with other products, the cup, the slim tea and all that. So I told him I was going to buy the ones I know I bought. So space, the cup, in the energy cup, because I know about cup. I bought things worth about 50 something thousand. He now told me to register with it. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want to do networking at all. You know, networking is not my thing. I don't have the interest. I don't want to do it. I just want to be buying from you to be doing business with you. And the guy was trying to encourage me. Himself did not know so much about the business. So we just closed the chapter like that. He went away. I know networkers, they are smart. So he called his offline, you know, to discuss the issue with him. And the guy told, yeah, he's in Lagos. That's Abayomi. That's our offline, you know, now. Abayomi told uh, Uche that he doesn't know much, so he's very new in the business. But the best thing they can do is to call uh, SD for Oluche Abraham, you know, to talk to me, at least woman to woman. So Oluche called me, and like me, I'm very open to things. Even if I know what I want, I'm very open to things. So I told her that fine, it's good we have one-on-one -on -one discussion. If it's something I can do, which they can convince me, I'll, no problem, I'll go into it, but we need to talk. And that was how she came to Asaba, you know, about three years ago, and they did a seminar in Asaba and they invited me. I didn't go because actually I'm a very busy person. You know, I have three uh, clinics, two in Asaba, one in Worry. I'm really a busy person, and other, I do other business, you know, I'm into a lot of things. So I didn't have time that Saturday to attend the training or presentation. So after the training, she didn't see me. She put a call, and I was expecting you, and we didn't see you. What happened? I told her I was very sorry. That I was very busy. I had other things. You know, she now booked an appointment. If they can see me, there. I said, why not? I said, why not? If she can do it, she has the time to come, that I will be available for that. And she came, you know, immediately after the presentation, straight to the house. And when she came to the house, you know, she... She came with a laptop, everything, and she told me it's about networking. You know, I was so reluctant, you know, networking, and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was not really in a good mood, really. You know, I said, I don't want them to drag me into this networking MLS stuff. I'm not interested, you know. But you know, because of all the effort and everything, you know, I was ready to listen and let me just, you know, let her just talk and, you know. And that's all, nothing, no commitments. You know, she started with her experience in banking industry for 14 years. Mm -hmm. As she lost her job, she shared her test uh, story, like as, as I'm also telling you my story, you know, like all those people, most of people in the networking industry must have seen some mm -hmm. success stories and all that. But me, I never saw any. So for me, network is no, 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 no. I've never seen anybody have succeeded around me you know, and all that. And I don't read about networking, so I don't know, I was black. So uh, she did the presentation and told me about the, the compensation plans is good for me because it's something I can do and my children will benefit. And that one got me, you know? And I said, my children can benefit how? You know, because they are not going to be doing the networking. I don't want them to do networking at all. It, she told me, no, in, no, in language, when you register yourself, you are allowed to bring your family, even when they are dependent. You can register them with you, and whatever you are working, you know, you also work for them, they benefit. And I was so interested, you know, in that aspect. You know, she showed me some alerts of her children. Uh, no, that got me, you know, that got me. And that point, it was, it's still <laughs> doing. <laughs> that got me really because we don't save for our children you know you just you just think you can you can provide all the time but what or when you are not there and it's you know it was really a turning point for me you know I was gained because I saw huge money I saw it's the same effort that she was putting in the business that was also giving you know her children a living and you know a matching to this heavy I love I saw on the children's account. So it was I was gained, you know. I like, me, I, like, I, like the, I like the word envy. 
I like the word each. Each money, every alas. All the, in the children's account, not at home. Yes, not at home. She never showed and, me account. And what attracted you to the business was when she now mentioned that your children can benefit also. That was that was what got me. Me, me. That was what got me. Yeah. That was wow. what got me. Yeah. You know, I saw her kids' account was something. It's not something you can just say, you know, on camera like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can you hear? <laughs> so wait, 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 let me just mention the acts. When you show the children account and you look at your own uh, account for the children, there was there, there was a huge difference, right? In fact, the difference is on, on the statement because you know sometimes when you pay money to your children's account, you have some other things to do. You go there and take money, you know, and you finish everything. You just take it off. But the, <laughs> the kind of money I saw is not something you can just take and finish and all that. It's a huge <laughs> sum of money. <laughs> Network marketing, guys. <laughs> so this, this is this is a family business, and um, um, yeah. many 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 top network marketers today in this yeah. business in Longridge, the children, uh, the world, their children are earning. Many MDs yeah. in the world have not earned that yeah. that that amount of money. Um, we have we are we are we are so excited to know this. Every alert, every boom, the children's account attracted her to join the business so when, when you not join the business i learned yeah. you didn't get you didn't do the business for some time even when yeah. you joined what what happened tell us about it okay when i signed up you know after uh, uh Olusha abraham was able to convince me you know beyond every reasonable doubt i you know this is always like this you know because we don't know so much about the business you know once the person, you know, the upline, you know, finish the prospecting and all that, you go back to your normal self. Do you understand? You go back to yes. yourself because after she, after the presentation and everything, I was happy, you know, after she left, you know, and thank God that immediately I paid because I was even the one that asked her, you know, what she let me know about the entry levels i want to know about the entry levels and she told me about the vip the platinum the gold and all that i told her if i do the vip i told her is there anything more than this because i want to be committed because what i saw immediately you know i was so excited you understand you know because i know that if she can do it i can also do it you know i am a very positive person you know i know i can do it so I asked her, apart from this VIP, is there any other thing? Because I know if I come in as a VIP, I, might, I want to involve myself. I want to involve my money so that I can get committed. I know myself. I, you know, I want that commitment. I was even the one asked her, is there any other thing? Outside the VIP, she told me about the stockings. She never even, market, she never even you know, discussed about uh, stockings or whatever. Uh, investment or whatever, I was the one that asked because I was convinced that it was a good business. It was a good deal. It's something I can do. I can turn everything around and I can also go back to people that don't have uh, interest or people that don't believe in networking. I know if I do well, I'll be able to convince them. So I told her I want to do something bigger. And she told me about the stocking stuff, you know, and that was how I came in as a stocking. I paid almost immediately. And after that, you know, she left back to you. I was like, ah, you know, because that flowing, you know, for some time, I wasn't communicating with her. So I got the story. I said, ah, am I sure that I took a good decision, you know, to do the stockings and to get so much involved at this level? You know, I was a bit discouraged. And and nobody to talk with around this place. And nobody was actually doing the same business in Asaba at that time, you know, just me. Maybe there were other people, but I didn't know them, you know. So it was not popular like the way it is now. So I got a little bit discouraged because it's like, it's a new feed for me, it's a new area. And I don't have so much information. So I was like, ah, I don't know. I hope I didn't make a mistake. I hope I can continue with this business because I have to talk to people, you know? I started getting discouraged, but somehow, somehow I have to go back to books. I lay my hands on some books. Somebody asked me to go and get a GoPro, you know? I got that book, you know? I settled down with a book. I sold the book. I read it over and over, you know, and I was a bit excited. I started disturbing her. I was not the one disturbing her, calling the her. Go, the GoPro book. 
Seven steps to become a network marketing professional. Yes, yes, yes. I got, I read it over and over and over. Yeah. And so that's where your that, passion now, now got started about network marketing. Up. <laughs> yeah, it helped, it just, the passion just set up immediately after reading that book. I was not the one that's calling, you know, uh, when are you going to supply the product? How do we start? She just told me, don't worry, once the product is ready, I'll come to Asaba. We're going to do training and all that. That was how the interest came back. But, uh, after reading the GoPro, the book actually helped me. You know, I read it over and over. So I was so passionate after reading the book about the business the passion just came back immediately yeah wow wow this this guy this 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 story is interesting today uh one she's wasn't in love with network marketing now as a result of mentioning our kids that our kids will benefit she our, our children i mean will benefit she got involved in the business and later on because she that that fire when she, she had when she got started wasn't there again. So she was not looking for ways to to get started, and she 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 had to look for some books. People recommend someone recommend books to her, and she read the book. So uh, you 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 mean that for someone to really understand her profession, mm. they really need to read read some books about the profession, right? So yeah, this is yeah. this is different from the medical field now. This is very, this very is different. network marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I didn't have so, yeah. I didn't have guys, so much look, information. Really. Yeah, yeah. So guys, look for look for that book and and read. So when when you now got when you now stirred up your passion as a result result of personal development now about the profession. Mm -hmm learning about uh, the profession what do you what what did you not do to build your business to the level you are now because i okay. learned you were not doing seminars in a yeah, yeah. but uh in your seminars what happened because now you're having okay. crowd was it like that when you got started doing seminars never it was not like that you know after the passion after i got back my passion you know immediately we started doing seminar. It was back to back. We were doing even on Sundays. We're having seminars on Sundays yes. in this Asaba. Yes, we're doing seminars on Sundays. Saturday was Saturday and Sundays. You know, we're doing a lot of trading. You know, people were coming. The first time people were not coming. Yeah, the first. Let me say the first three months or even more than maybe sometimes two people. Sometimes we just have to play the DVD and listen by all by ourselves. It was not me, easy. Me. That, first... that is that is that is the me me seminar. There is me seminar. Yes. There is two two <laughs> seminar. There is me yes. seminar. So you have yes. you even add me seminar. Only you in the yes. seminar. <laughs> Only me will be in the seminar with my staffs, you know, and all that. People were not coming. You know, we're doing it like that. We're not discouraged because we know. I saw the business. You know, when you see something, you go for it. You know, I saw yeah. the vision. Yes, the vision. I saw. Yes, I saw the vision, and I know it's clear, and I know it's going to take me time because all I need to do, you know, was just to build. I was certain yeah. that I needed to build the business, and without building the business, there is no moving forward. So I was passionate. I was determined to build. I was not, you know, I was. I was, I, I, I did not allow myself to be discouraged about uh, people not coming for the seminar. So we started doing the seminar, you know, sometimes three people, two people and all that. Then after like four months, then Olochina called, put the call to me that she wants to help us in the seminar that if she's going to anchor the seminar that a lot of people are going to come because they want to hear from her. And me, we are just starting and people don't know us now. And uh, she is, uh, we know, and if she sent flyers and all that, that I should not worry that people would like to come and listen from, you know, there will be having, you know, that one regular, like once every two, two weeks or every one month. And she kept to the promise, you know, she printed a flyer, we, she sent to Asaba, we shared. Hello. 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 Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
So she printed this flyer. She sent some to us, you know, my staff went to shop right around everywhere. They shared those flyers. And I was surprised the day of that seminar, the whole place was actually filled up. So, you know, <laughs> you really need, <laughs> you know, because she's well known in Longreach, you know, and she's a top NR star director. And for that, you know, people, they, they obey the, 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 uh, the invitation. Yeah, they obey the invitation. Mm. They came, the hall was filled up. You know, wow. the whole place, the whole company was fed up. We had a very successful seminar that day. And I was like, wow, this is a good business. Then she left. After two weeks, we had that same seminar. You know, we're just like only five of us. People didn't come. <laughs> because there was no leader coming. <laughs> because there was no leader, you know, to anchor the, the seminar. So at that point, I know that, you know, the upline has the roles to play really at that initial time. You know, you really mm. need, you know, somebody to guide you. It's very important. It's very important because she really helps us, you know. Anytime she comes for seminar, the whole place, the whole company is filled up. But if she's not in Ansaba, you see like three, four people for the first, you know, one year we're doing that. But after the first year, it was regular now. People started coming. Then we now were able to learn from her, you know, to do presentation we're able to present our own seminar it was not getting more interesting i know that people started coming and uh, we got it right wow that was great so 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 what, how did you now get your first team member then first team. Your, your your first qualification let's you say oluchi was your first team member yes she was, she was so uh, how, she from, was. how did you now start hmm. introducing people into your network Okay. okay, you have a very large network now. So how? Okay, okay, how? You know, yeah. Some people just walk up to me, you know, that they were told that you're telling that you are into language now, into MLA. I say yes, you know, that before is something that I don't believe in. But right now, you know, I've seen, I've studied the, uh, the MLA system. And I think it's one of the best business. You know, they asked me how I was explain to them. Most people were coming to me to ask, and what is it that people are doing as Taba? The news is everywhere, you know. They were just coming that way and started doing presentation to them individually in the office, and they were signing up. And on my own, like, okay, let me, let me for once tell uh, our language family how I got you, you Charles. Maybe that will explain. <laughs> Maybe that will Yes, maybe that will explain how, you know, I, I was able right. to sign up a lot of people and great leaders. So there was one of my friends I followed for a long time, you know. The first time all she came for a seminar, we invited her. She was in the hall, you know. Towards the end of the seminar, she walked out like, what's all this? Is that why you called me, you know? She called me that if it's any time we are doing seminar, please, that she's not invited, that she's not interested in all this language stuff and all that, you know. So wow. you know, knows all that but. <laughs> I was never discouraged. She was so angry why she was invited to that kind of training and all that. But after that, I kept on calling her, talking to her. You know, I know the initial stage, you work so hard and you earn little, you know that. So yes. my what I was earning at that initial time was not enough to really, you know, uh, uh, convince a lot of people, you understand. So I, I needed to do more. You know, mm. because my uh, yes, because my lot was not convincing enough you know, the first few months. You know, that's what, how the business is. Then I I don't know. I started following up with her. You know, once in a while I just call her, talk to her, and this business is a good business, and this is how the business works. You know, it's a business where you get one or three people on board, and they also get their own people, and everybody you know, and from each other, I think it's something that you can do because I am doing it and I have passion and nobody can stop. I kept talking to her one day, you know, she herself, she called me that somebody came to discuss about UNO, you know, other business with her and she feel that uh, maybe it will be better. I said, no, don't try it, you know, because our products, we have a lot of products because Longreach has a lot of products. They have the daily consumable, they have energy products, they have supplements. So you have a lot of products to 
play with. And the products are good because we've used some of those products. You know, the first time Ology came to start, I had a patient that was having a bad arthritis. She told me to give the patient Cordyceps, you know, atrial calcium. And we gave this patient's product. And the prognosis was something else. Within seven days, this woman started walking. She started driving. So, you know, that actually blew my mind. So I started explaining to the woman that this product, the products are good. Longish products are very effective. So it's okay. Now, if I come in as a, a partner, how am I going to sell the product? You know, I told her, it's not you use some of the products. So you get your own testimony. You can share some of the product with your family. Give the HO or the supplements to your mom. They will, you know, they will appreciate them because they are very good for age parent, age parents, you know, and uh, they are good for anybody. The calcium, all those atrial for arthritis, all those things. I've tried them; they are perfect. So she said, "Okay, uh, I'm going to pay this money into your account in case I don't do well. So you give my, you pay back my money." I said, "It doesn't work like that. You will do well because I am doing well. <laughs> and I, know, <laughs> I know we can we can succeed together. It's a good business. It's not a Ponzi. It's real. It's a business. It's a profession. So we have to, you know, follow it up as a profession, and we have to be professionals who will achieve it. It's okay. And reluctantly, she brought the money. I signed up, up, you know, and I told her one because I know that she's not really. And actually, why I followed her for that long time, you know, I saw she's a person that can easily make friends. You understand? And me, I'm a very private person. Is it on this language that actually brought me out? I'm a very private person, you know, she easily make friends. She has a lot of friends. And I know from what I read in the GoPro, you need people like that, you know, people that have friends because the business of people, you understand, you know, people, yeah. people don't just people don't just join the business. They join people, you know, they join you because of the kind of person yeah. you are. Yeah. So at that point, you know, I was, you know, after this lady, because I know she has a lot of people. So when she signed up as flat, I was so happy. So I walked, I said, ah, it's not because I've signed up. I, I don't have time to do this networking, really. Yeah. I said, why? <laughs> You've already signed up, you know? Let's sign up your children, which she did. So about the, 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 the networking aspect of it, she was not ready. She said, no, I will not have time. I don't, you know, people will say no. I don't want people to say no to me. I say no, people will definitely say no. It doesn't stop the business. You move on to the next person. So because of that, she was not ready. I told her, you know, and then I was less busy. I told her, I said, do you know what I'm going to do for you? All your Sundays from today, for the next six months, I will give you my Sundays after church. Just take me to your friends. I will do the presentation myself. So she said, okay, good, that she can do that. She has a lot of friends that she'll be taking me there, that she will not say anything, no, it's me that will do all the talking. I said, okay, for now, <laughs> I told her for now, I don't have issue with that. I'm going to be doing the talking. I can talk, I have my mouth, talking is cheap. We'll do the talking, let's go. Then the next Sunday, she called me that, let's start with your upline, that is Lolo. You know, so she told me that she has a very good friend that we should go to her and talk to her about the language. I said, no problem. She came to the house and picked me. We went together. We went to uh, Lolo's house, Nenka. You know, we presented a business to her. And she said, oh, that she has done other networking that it really works. You know, that she's not really... I also want to appreciate her because she's your immediate offline, you know, for bringing you on board. Yes. I, I, Yes, I appreciate that also. You know, she's one of our very big leaders, you know. So she told me she has done other networking that didn't work. I told her, it's possible they didn't work. Did you really, did you build the business? Because you need to build. It's possible you didn't do it right. You know, you need to understand. You know, why a lot of people fail in this business is because they don't understand the business. And they don't even also have passion, you know, because the passion makes you to succeed. No, I was not educating her. Maybe she didn't do it right. And he said, okay, let's see on Monday. So on Monday, I went to her office, you know, do my presentation and everything. It's okay, fine. That she loved the business, but it's so that I should come back on Wednesday so that we can finalize the things. I said, okay. I mean, I can never get discouraged, you know. I, yeah, I, yeah. And when I'm committed <laughs> about something, <laughs> when you I'm right. committed... Follow-up is key. <laughs> Follow-up is key. She told me to come back on 
Wednesday. And that Wednesday, I, I first in the morning, I put a reminder to her. She said, no problem, she'll be around that we can talk. And so that Wednesday, before the time I was even in the office waiting for her, and we, 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 we came together again and uh, she's, you know, she was changing her mind that she has wasted a lot of money on networking that she, she, she wants to come in. I can, I can she attest to, to that because she was, she was my team member in my previous company. She bought, okay. bought guys worth over 600,000. None of them were sold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so she, you know, she, she was very, really very skeptical that she really loved what I'm telling her but the product, how is she going to sell it, you know? And uh, she doesn't want to waste her money again, once beaten. I told her you don't waste your product. That in that case, you know, then I was just about, I was the second stockings in somebody. The other stockings was not really doing the business. So I told her you can come in as the stockings. We work together, you know, and all that. She's okay. What are the benefits of stockings? I was able to explain everything to her. And... That day, that same day, she gave me the check. She signed up that same day, you know, and she was wow. the person that brought the boss man. And that is the beauty of the business. You know, you don't work alone. When you work with great leaders, the job is easier. The journey is easier. So that was how I was getting people. I was working Sundays. I Sunday was my semi presentation days. Every Sundays after church, I just take a small rest and I start moving from friends. I have my own list. I was checking them. I don't just call because sometimes when you call them, they just they'll just blah 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 and you know and 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 just close the conversation, you know, without even you know uh, committing anything to the business. They just close up the conversation. So I don't like that. I like to discuss with you one on one. That that's me and that was working for me. So my Sundays I was using it to prospect. I drew a list and I was following the list. I was going from one friend to another, even my acquaintance, you know, I was seeing them discussing and they were coming on board because it's, ah, if you can do this, because we're thinking is a uh, networking is just, it is for people that, you know, they don't have job is it's not what, you know, uh, business people like you want to do i said no it's a big business you know it's a business of number you know if you understand the business it's better than any other thing you can do because it, with a short time you can you can you can enter autopilot you know you do less work and earn money it's like a pipe you lay a pipe and once the pipe you know is connected it's just it's on and the flow is endless i said that is how long which is and they were signing up and I was getting people, you know, uh, coming in and they were coming in as VIP, you know, coming in as stockings, you know, because I was a stocking and they were ready to do what I was doing. And that's that they all came and we started uh, doing seminars together. We're training. And the, the key is that training. The training actually had, helps us in this town, you know, because we're doing back-to-back -back training, you know, we're doing three to four times weekly training, yes, because the people that sign up, they don't know nothing. And I, I also don't want them to be discouraged, you know, because if they don't have any information, they'll be discouraged, you know? So we're training them, we're teaching them, you know, we're, we're following them up, you know, we're answering their questions, we're helping them to also talk to their prospects and so doing, you know, the business was just getting larger and larger and larger. Wow, wow, what, what, what thing I learned from, from this, that's part of your status. I know, I know the kind of person you are. You're not just a medical doctor. Your husband is a well-known man in Nigeria and in the South South here. Yeah. But, but you, 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 you never look at that. You were building your business. Yeah. Unlike people, unlike people who, who who have money and they will tell you. It is, it is not my thing. I'm not ready to network. You learn mm -hmm. the business and you apply the things you learn from the GoPro book. All you'll be saying now, whatever mm -hmm. you're saying, I can see it's, it's something you have learned from that book. Follow up. You never give up. You even, even if the, 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 person you, the person who introduced my upline, he's not someone who is serious like that, but you yourself, mm -hmm. let me help you. Let me talk to yeah. someone for you. You talk to the person, 
the person now is now on board. Uh, at the same time, again, this same person came in with uh, another leader who now disrupted the system. So that is what people don't know. The, is they thought they were the one that was they, they are they are the one they, they, that will bring everybody into the business. So they are afraid no. of the larger number. No, no, they are not looking at the fewer number that will help you go and bring the larger number. So follow up is very key, guys. Follow up. You need to follow up people you have talked to and get them on board. You get it. So, yeah. guys, they, now, now I know you are you are very influential. You people are joining the business too because of the kind of person you are. Yeah. The trips, the trips are not not for for us who have not some of us who have who have not traveled. Many of us will be will be so excited when we qualify for trip cars and other things. Now, when you were qualifying for all your your those other incentives, how were how did you feel about it? What, what was your other how that, how, how, when, how the incentive in the company contributed to you driving the business more? Okay, and there's something I actually wanted to add. You know that in this initial stage, you know there was this, and we must be ready for temporary loss of uh, social esteem. You know, from yeah. ignorant people, we must be yeah. ready for that because you know that's what discouraged a lot of people. You know, a lot of people, a lot of you know, big people to say they will tell you, uh, "It's not my thing." You know, because of what people are going to feel about them. I also had that issue. People are like you, Doctor Len, you are doing networking. I don't really know. I don't, that was even why I was trying to understand what networking was all about because the way people. <laughs> you. You, you are doing long reach. Oh, why, why are you, this? why, why? Uh, no, no, we don't expect it. Why, why? So, so, so that's not, that's so you don't, that's so you don't own the rich, you go do long reach. <laughs> why don't let people think that your husband is not doing his best? Why do they do it long reach? Uh, you know, so you must accept that temporary social, in loss of social esteem, it must happen. It must happen. It, uh, it's for mm. a short time. It's for a short time because the people that are joining my network now, they are big, big people. You know, is it, you know sometimes it's not like as if we want people to come in as the stockings and you know when they ask you, you tell them VIP. You know, it's for them. It's like what is VIP? Is there is, is nothing more than that that we can do? Do you understand? So if yeah. they're ready to, invest, yes. if they're ready to invest, as long as language allows it, why not? Does it? And I. Yeah, as long as I am ready to work with them, because I always work with my stockings. I work with them. I work with my, not just my stockings, all my team members, you know, I work, I train them to be independent because I cannot do all the work. They also have their role to play. So I do my best. I tell them what the business it is, and I also train them to stand on their own so that they can also build their own network because you can't do everything. And that is the truth. You understand? Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, uh, that, yes. so how, how was the, the incentive in the company that contributed to oh, your success? The because the travel, yes. the car, the what other things again? <laughs> the trips, yes. the housing incentives, uh, yeah. traveling incentives. Long Reach has a lot of incentives, you know? Those incentives those incentive also made my, uh, my prospecting, you know, easier. You know, because people were thinking or people thought that those things are not possible. They are not going to be, you know, uh, achievable one. And some people also, you know, some other, some networking, they will tell you they were going to give you car. They, at the end of the day, the, the, the requirements, you cannot meet up with the requirements. You understand? You know, the setup is a, 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 a very high requirement that you cannot meet up with. So, People were thinking, oh, they will not give you cars, they're not going to give you all the street, you will not travel. You know, but me, I believe that language is very sincere. You understand? Because I mm. check the platform, I check their compensation plan and their payment. I those leaders, I saw some of their ends, you know, they are they pay weekly, they don't even delay. If, if there's going to be any delay, language they are so responsible, you know, that aspect. They will send a reminder or they send a notice. 
to let you know that this weekend we are not going to be paying on Friday because Friday is uh, Thursday. Friday is usually their pay days. You know, they will tell you this Thursday and Friday they are not going to be paying. They are going to, you know, they have a lot of uh, uh, have some uh, adjustment or the update or whatever. They will keep you informed. You know that it shows how responsible, you know, how serious the company is. So I believe. You know, but it's difficult to convince other people. For me, the incentive actually helped me, you know, to, to, to convince people that the business is very real, that language is real. Because when I qualified for my first trip, my first trip was Dubai and UK. That was my very first trip. That was, it was on that trip I met uh, SD in my Duru in Dubai, you know? Some people were like, yeah. oh, they will not travel, it's not true. They will not just watch and see. <laughs> and, you know, I was telling them this company is real. They are very real. I trust them. It's okay, let's see. And after that journey, you know, they were surprised because I traveled. You know, you know what it is. I I I always I travel up a lot, you know. And this time around, somebody is paying the bill. You understand? <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> You're not the one paying the bill. Someone is paying the bill. <laughs> you are not paying the bill. Somebody is paying your bill, you know, and not just only the bill. You know, when you go on Longridge Street, you know what I'm talking about, you know? Mm -hmm. the, yes. the Yes, you know, they don't, they don't, they, 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 they don't mind anything. So first class food, treatment. So the treatment, first class, everything is first class, even to the hotel, even you on your own, no matter the kind of money you have, sometimes you don't even want to pay for that kind of hotel, that's the truth. Sometimes you want to go, you know, a little bit cheaper, you want to save money for other things. The language we give the best, they give you yeah. minimum four-star hotel, it's not, it's not easy, you know? It's not, that's why a lot of people don't believe because other networks, they just deceive people. You work for them at the end of the day, they just they just give you a peanut. Okay, we are supposed to go on this trip and some, something, take this trip. But Long Beach, we take you for that trip. And if you are not interested, you know, on going with them, if you're not interested on that trip for that particular year, you just ask for your money. It's simple. Once you put up the requirement, once you meet up with the requirement and you ask for refund, if you don't want to go on the trip, they give you your money instantly. They pay. So you get the allowance wow. Wow. as the compensation for not going for the trip. But for me, I love to go for the trip because the phone is mm. something, you know, is something bigger. What else <laughs> you can do as an individual? <laughs> the money bigger. cannot be compared to the phone. Yeah, the money cannot be compared to the phone because so you cannot give yourself that kind of phone. You know, you're with a lot of people. You are, you know, the best hotel with wonderful people, with nice people around you. And you're learning a lot of things about the business and you are seeing the business real. And people are seeing that this thing is real. You know, sometimes people just think, is it possible that it is real? And they see it, mm. it's practical. And it's what they, they can see and what, and it's easier for them to believe because they are seeing it live. Seen us, you know, in UK, Dubai, China, US, leave them. It's, it adds color wow. to the business. Add so much wow. color to the business. Yes, add so much so, color. So, yeah. what, what, like, thank you, Bob. What, 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 what have been your achievements so far now in the business? Mm. Went, oh, mm, okay. Yeah, what have been your, your achievements so far in the business? Okay. And you know, this business is about building people. Mm. Because to invest in property is good, but to invest in people is far better. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, to make money, yeah, to make money you have to make people. And mm. my greatest achievement is raising people raising achievers i've been able to raise like okay let me make it shorter in uh, i think this is my third year in the business the first year i was able to have about 10 people qualifying for cars for car promo but this last year more than 45 people qualify for a car in my team that's the great great, great achievement for me because on my own, I don't think I can give, I can share that kind of number of cars. It's not possible for me to do that. But mm. because I, yes, because of this great platform, because of Longridge, 
at least we're, we're able to have about, 40, I think 45, I'll check the numbers again, I think about 45, 46 qualifiers in this past car promo. That's, that's great. Huge. That's huge. That's so huge, yeah. That's huge. That's a lot of As outside, and, outside and, the weekly, weekly millionaires you are preaching. Yes. And you know the list of a car promo is 3.5 million. Yes. The list is 3.5, yes. And a lot of people qualify for 5 million, 10, like the boss man, you know now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if some, some people, uh, the, the, the husband, the wife, even the children, you know, qualifying for cars, you know, like my own family, my husband qualified for 20 million what? Yeah, two, yeah, my husband had two qualifications, 10, 10 million each. You know, I qualify for 10 million and the children. That's huge. You know, that's huge. Because of that, I yeah. sign up a lot of family after that qualification. Yes. And the weekly any is something, it's not something you talk on the phone, on the, on the uh, open uh, 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 chat like this, you know. It's something, it's so huge. The weekly alert is some alert is even more than the car promo that you end, you know, within the year. Wow. Wow, guys. Yeah, you so heard that, guys. Able, yeah, we've been able to build a lot of millionaires in my team. A lot, a lot. Many of yes. them. More and than one of 50, them. More and than 50 for the past. Yeah, it's one of them, yes. <laughs> I know the boss of my, you know, and we did, and the beauty is that within a short period of time, we're just talking about three years now, in summer, you know, three years in this team. I think we can count more than 50 millionaires in this team. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Three years, guys. She has not done network marketing before. She learned about it and went all out. So I hope you are getting value. If you are, if you are enjoying this show, if you are having value, I want you to drop one 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 in the chat box. Drop one one in on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, now let me ask you: as a medical doctor, mm -hmm. I need to ask this. Yeah. You, you, so many, so many doctors when they see our products, they are very skeptical mm -hmm. about it. They analyze a lot. What, what as our products? in Long Beach help you to do in your field. Just give us a few examples and testimonies okay. about the products. Because I know okay. a lot of people come to you because people are calling you from different teams just for mm. you to prescribe the product to them. So what has it helped you? Okay. Our products are very effective. Our products are highly effective. And initially, you know, because uh, drugs is the field that, you know, is unethical. We have too many unethical things, you know, for ordinary people to just produce, uh, to just prescribe products, you know, prescribe drugs. But we don't have drugs. We have supplement, supplement in language. And our supplement, they will work like drugs. You understand? So a lot of ethics, you know, that's why you see some doctors, they don't like the ideas of people just prescribing their thing. You might not know the dosage and all that. But let me be sincere, long reach got products. We, I don't even know the ones to call first right now. Well, I've had a, a very wonderful testimony from Barry Oye because Barry Oye, because I'm an eye specialist and Barry Oye works so much, you know, is that it was one of our eyes a supplement that's very oil. And there was a patient I prescribed that had a glaucoma in a young Christian, you know, that came to the cleaning with the issue of glaucoma. And what really uh, touched me about this patient was at the point he told me that he was going to commit suicide if he can, his eyes, you know, cannot be restored. And you know, glaucoma, anything glaucoma has destroyed cannot be, you know, gotten back. That's glaucoma. It's a very dangerous eye condition. So this guy came with his history of glaucoma and we're treating her, him, sorry, him. And uh, it was an appointment, you know, we're checking and all that. And when I signed up with Long Beach, I read about berry oil and check and saw the benefits of berry oil. And I was so convinced that this berry oil was going to help the guy. So I called him 
there was a drug I was going to introduce to him. It's a very good drug. You know, we need to take more than one bottle. And I think he will get good prognosis from the product. And he agreed. I gave him two bottles of berry oil. And do you know, after one month, the guy came for checkup. And when the guy came for checkup, he was complaining that he was not seeing very well with his glasses, you know? So, you know, I told him, we cannot change we cannot change this your glasses within one year because normally we change a, a prescription. Yeah, we change a prescription within one year. And this was just after one month of wearing, of using the product and it was complaining that his glasses was no longer clear that we need to check it as you know. So we just do a, a very fast routine test on him. We just did a routine test and check what was the problem. And we discovered that the eye has so much improved that he doesn't see where now was his classic with his prescription. Did you get that? There was so much improvement on his eyes and he was not able to use the prescription because the power of the glasses was not higher than his requirements. Mm. So, yes. So we now removed the glasses from him and asked him to read the VHR. He was able to read above his normal uh, uh, visual acuity. So we were surprised. We told him, you can do without your glasses. We removed the glasses and he was doing very well. That guy stayed in the office for the whole day because he was surprised because he was kind of removed because he doesn't do see well without the glasses. So when we removed the Your, your audio, audio. Without the okay. glasses. Within one month of using berry oil, just one month, one month is my patient. You know, if you want his phone number, I can give it to you. You know, one month of using that. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yes. Wow. You know, the guy was so shocked because after we removed the glasses, the guy could read everything on the VHR. The guy was seen very well. The guy was walking around the office, he was walking around the premises. Ah, he didn't want to leave the premise because he was surprised. And I told him, I said, hope you're not thinking of suicide anymore. He said, no, he cannot. I told him this product is long reach products. It's long reach products. And you have to sign on so that you two can share the testimony to other people. And you two can be of help to other people. And that is one of the testimony that can never, I can never be in a hurry to forget. And till now wow. the guy is doing well. It just stabilized the eye pressure and the guy is doing well. And another testimony we had is from Mr. Uche, you know, the trainer, Mr. Uche, that comes from Onicha, yes. the boss. Yes. Then yes. one day he called, yes, one day he called me that his uh, niece was having eye problems that it took. He was so scared. I told him, don't be scared. Just attend your routine eye clinic and all that, but get her berry oil. He said, berry oil. I said, yeah, just get her berry oil. Get her two bottles of berry oil to start with. Let her take two morning, two evening. And they put this girl on berry oil. And the uncle said the uncle was calling from US. They have to send the girl. You know, it was a very serious glaucoma case. And I can tell you, after two months of taking that berry oil, that girl is okay now. The pressure does not go beyond 12. 12 millimeters wow. of mercury. Wow. Just two months of using that berry oil, this girl is perfectly okay. She's fine. So I've used the wow. berry oil for a lot of eye patients, especially glaucoma patients, and they are doing very well with it. Oh, wow. I, I, I want you to... Okay. No, continue. You have something to say. Okay. Yes. And another amazing testimony that I have from Caldi said was when one of my friends called me that the mom was having uh, this ligament issue, you know, serious ligament problem, you know. She called me. I went to the house to look at the issue. I told her, and they were planning to even take her to uh, uh, India for treatment. I told her to try Longish product that I've seen longish product doing a lot of you know uh, uh, improvements in this kind of issues of ligaments. 
It's okay. Let them, as if there's no error in trying. It's not so expensive compared to what you'll be spending taking your mom to India. I told her, buy the cordyceps. She bought the cordyceps. She bought the uh, panty liner, the atro, casium, and I advised her to buy this limited because the mother was a bit overweight because she was sitting in one position, you know, because of the pain she was getting from the leg. I can tell you, three weeks of using this product, this woman was okay. She was able to walk around the house. This woman was able to do a lot of things. I think uh, this testimony I'm sharing, uh, our SD Olutri Abraham is aware of this case because she followed me to the woman's house. And that is the end of that issue. They never traveled to India. They never traveled to any other place. They never did any other thing about that ligament. Today, the woman is okay. She's doing very well with that, uh, with uh, our products. Yes. Wow. And, and my well, mom know, also, I... and my mom too, I would like to share the testimony of my mom. My mom had a very bad arthritis also, leg arthritis. So, I personally took her because it was even bending her leg, you know, and this woman has done so well for us. So I didn't just, I couldn't stand her going through all that pains and having her leg, you know, bent to one corner. So I didn't want to say that. So I was ready to do a, a transplant or whatever for her. So I personally took my mom to US, getting to US, they did evaluation and everything. And they told me that they might put her uh, for treatment for some time before deciding whether they were going to do the knee transplant because it was 50-50, you know? And in the process of, uh, uh, of uh, discussing with the doctor, the lady told me that I can get a, uh, like I can get energy slippers for my mom, energy slippers. Uh -uh. The solution is energy slippers. I didn't even discuss with them that I know about energy shoe. You know, when she, when she told me about energy, energy slippers, okay, fine, I will try and get it. Because my mind just went to our shoe. So immediately we came back from the treatment. I got my mom energy shoe as size. I got her, you know, the shoe immediately, you know, and I advised her to be wearing it. She was wearing it morning, even wearing it to bed. Within four months, she was, my mom was, that leg straightened to my surprise, my, to my greatest surprise. The shoe straightened my mom's leg. See, tomorrow, see, today, her legs are okay. No surgery, no treatment, nothing. Aside the atrial, I was given an atrial calcium and the shoe. She's fairly, she's very, she's very okay right now. She's not wearing even the shoe anymore. She told me, don't give me any shoe again. The shoe is too expensive. Don't waste your money. I'm okay. She doesn't wear shoe now. She's fine. She's okay. Wow. So, That's great. Yeah. I, I, know, I, know, I know as a doctor, you have a lot of testimony. I ever had one when woman came with clutches to your yeah. to the stocking center. You you, yeah. you you give her actual. Yeah. And the next week, she came back without the clutches. Yes. Yes. You saw that case. Yes, I, she came I back. I saw yes. that. So, yes, I remember it is, now. It, our, products, our products are amazing. We're not they're telling you people. that uh, it cures, but we're telling you it has helped a lot of people. It has helped a lot of people, yes, a yeah, lot of patients. A lot of people. But I want you to talk mm -hmm. really on the panty liner. Okay. 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 <laughs> and the panty liner, I want, to, I want to share another product, you know, <laughs> about the panty liner. Yes. That's is also amazing product, very amazing product. Even me, I, I got my first testimony from Panting Linen. Yes, because after I signed up with Long Beach, I was having um, a little is issue with my menstrual cycle, you know. My menstrual cycle wasn't regular, wasn't coming as usual, you know. So I, I booked an appointment with my uh, gynecologist and, you know, drugs, drugs are a normal thing and all that. Let's, I called one of my friends that was uh, into language. We're just talking. She's a pharmacist. We have a lot of pharmacists in business. You know, doctors and pharmacists, they can analyze. They overanalyze things. And sometimes, you know, over analysis leads to paralysis, you know? So, yes. you know, yes. You know, but my joy is that we have I've signed up a lot of pharmacies. And that shows that they've also done their own investigation and they must have discovered, I'm sure they are convinced that these products are very genuine. They are genuine. So for them to sign up and they are selling the product, doing well with the product is because they know 
that they are good products and what Longi says they have is what they have. So she advised me, she said, try the panty liner. I've read the, about the panty liner. I think it will help you, you know, because it, it has a fire infrared, it has a lot of uh, 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 benefits that can help you to restore, you know, your hormonal imbalance and all that, you know. I told her I've read about it, but I'm skeptical if it's going to do this work because I just feel that it was a big job, you know. She said, just try. And I took one pack, just one pack, you know? I know in a pack you have about 30 pieces. I think I've just yes. done like, yes. I've just yes. done like, yes, you have like 30 packs in, in, in one pack. And I started wearing it, I just activated with it, just little drop of water, I just wear, you know, within just four to seven packs that I've used, you know, my message just start flowing. It was, that's, you know, I, I, I think before then, you know, the last time I, I wasn't pregnant, but I wasn't, my message was not regular. It was not menopause. It was not menopause at all. You know, maybe whether it was early menopause, I don't know, but it wasn't. And I was started having flushes and all that, menopausal syndromes and all that. You know, immediately I started using that panty liner. I started getting everything, you know, uh, corrected. You know, after seven days, the message just started flowing, yes. So I knew wow. that this panty liner is, is something else. Oh. And, I was, and I was ready to go all length, you know, mm -hmm. to market that product. I've really marketed that product. I was, you know, after that, my experience, I started <laughs> selling that product. <laughs> Before they even opened the UK market, I started marketing the products to my friends all over UK, everywhere. I was sending them outside the country. I was really selling the product because I was convinced that the product is working and it's going to work for anybody because it works for me, you know. And we've had uh, uh, like two cases of infertility in my office, two cases two cases of infertility, yes, that we uh, recommended the panty liner, just the panty liner. No speaker. Good morning to guys. Okay. The panty liner, you know, after three months, she took in and she has even had a baby. Yes, hmm. yes, wow. yes. Wow, yes. wow. Yes. Guys, I know if we are going to spend time here on our products, we're not going to live here. We also saw a case that gave that panty liner. It's one of our customers. This woman has never been pregnant for 14 years. 14, 14 years? Yes, 14 years. She's one of our customers. I, was the, I wasn't the one that recommended the panty liner for this particular person, but she came to buy products. She came with big pregnancy, and she was sharing her testimony with my girls in the office, and they now called my attention. She told us that she... She has used a lot of drugs. She got tired of taking drugs. And she told herself that she will never take any drug for fertility. She will never. Maybe God, you know, maybe it's not her destiny to have a child. She gave up. But when her friend brought her to my office and convinced her about this product, she told her, I can use the panty liner, but I will not take drugs. I'm not going to take any drug. The friend told her, okay, try the panty liner and explain to her how to use the panty and just activate and wear, you know, and during your ovulation period, if you know how to calculate your ovulation period, you stop for that period and you continue after the ovulation period and, and just do it every cycle like that. And she told me that she just did this for three months. The third month she took in, you know, and she, ha she has also had a baby in 14 years. Just panty liner, she never took any other drug, only the panty liner. And She's a mother right now, as we speak. So hmm. the products are very efficient. The prognosis yeah, we are yeah. getting products is something else. Language products are good. They are working. They are amazing Fantastic. products. Yeah. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. And that is one of the things. Introduce, introduce the product part because many people want to hear really from a doctor. And now, You've proven to us that this product won't. Now, I will ask now, I think we'll round up with this. Okay. What, what advice will you okay. give to a new, because many people want to become a star director. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not going to round up with this. You're going, you're going to tell us 
strategies on how you're qualifying for car because you are you are the baddest in that aspect also. <laughs> I know you used to draw draw these things out. You tell us, tell us here because <laughs> people need to hear that. Now, what, what will you tell someone who has been who want to get to a star director? What are the things the person needs to do to become a star director? Tell us. Okay. Because, okay. Well, we, we, okay, that you know the reason why many of many people don't succeed in this business is because they don't even understand the business. Yes. Yes. First of all, you I will I would like to stress this. First of all, you have to understand. You must understand the business. You must know the business because there is a process. It's always it's always with viral and paper anytime <laughs> <laughs> drawing. <laughs> <laughs> if you are screen, yeah, she wants to draw for us, guys. Look, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you are in a summer, you not see that. We, 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 uh, you better go and meet her. Yeah. You draw, draw your, draw vision for you. Well, you know. For <laughs> <laughs> so is is I, I I want to tell you why what I know why some people don't succeed in networking is because they don't they lack understanding. That's the truth. They, lack, they just see people making it, you know, people flying. They just think, oh, we too can fly. No, you must come to the basis. You must lay foundation. You know, there's a process. You cannot abort the process. Mm. For you to succeed, you must follow the procedure. And the procedure for me is laying a very solid foundation. Yes. You must, yeah. Yes, you must lay a very a solid foundation. And if you don't understand the business, how do you lay a foundation? You know, because language is a profession. People just think it's a side hustle. I don't know what they mean by side hustle. But for me, it's a basic, it's a, it's a, it's a profession, it's a big job. It's just like, uh, as, like I'm a doctor, you know, like a lawyer, like an engineer, it's something like that. And it's very easy to do it alongside your profession because it's, it's, it's the business you do with people, you understand. It's, you share the work, you share the work and it's easier. So it's very easy to do it alone, but it's not a side hustle. It's a major profession. It's something you need to build. And if you have to do well, you have to build it. It's, like, it's just like building a house. If you want to build a house, you must start by laying a very good foundation. You must put uh, a blocks on your foundation and you're going to deck. And after decking, you, you have to start setting your blocks and you put your feet in. The same thing. The first thing you have to do is you have to know that it's about recruitment. Networking is about recruitment. Those are the foundation I'm talking about. Those are the process I'm talking about. Because if your product is not what you like, check your process. If you're not getting it right, if you're not getting a, a, a good benefit from what you're doing, check your process. Because if you get the process right, you must succeed. You must lay a good foundation. Like I was saying earlier that when we started, we were doing training. You cannot bring people on board without training them. You recruit. It's like you have to do mass recruitment. You have to do action. You have to bring people to this business. And when you bring them to the business, you don't train them. They will not do anything. Many will just go back and sleep. So you must mm. follow up with them. You must train them. You must reduplicate yourself. Tell them how you were able to build your passion. Tell them the secret that is helping you to grow in the business. You know, let them know the benef benefit, what they stand to gain if they do the business right. You know, why they should run with the business. If they understand why they should run with the business, they will build with you. Because you don't bring people without teaching them. You bring people, you teach them, you tell them to do the same what you are doing. You tell them to follow up with their own people, because you bring your three, you bring more people. These two are going to bring, you know, because when you bring your children, your children are going, they're not going to work. So you have to bring other people. And when you bring all these people, you also help them to bring their three. Mm. They must understand how it works. They must understand the process because the reason why you are doing the business is to end. And you cannot end if there are no people in your network. You cannot end if you are doing it alone. Some people will just tell you, they, can they be buying products? Some people will even come on board and tell you, 
uh, they don't know how to talk to people. I don't know why. I don't know why people say that. You know, you are not deaf and dumb. So why would you know how to talk to people? You know, you know. Some people will tell you. <laughs> some people will tell you, I don't know how to talk to people. I I don't really understand that. So if you are telling me that, I'll tell you. If you don't know how to tell talk to people, then you are not a candidate of this business because you must know how to talk. Somebody talked to you about the business and that was why you joined the business. So you too must be able to talk to people and convince people. And you know, another thing you can do, you know, another secret, you know, you can do to grow your team is that in your team, you know, you have a lot of people in your team with different uh, 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 gifts. Like in a church, you have a pastor, you have a teacher. A teacher cannot, a teacher might be able to do the work of a pastor, or a pastor can do the work of a teacher. But sometimes you have somebody that can teach, cannot preach, and you have somebody that can preach, cannot teach. So you must be able to evaluate your team and know what each of them can do. If you have trainers in your team, use them. Because when you have training session, those people that know how to train very well. They can help you bring these people, train them. You train the trainers, you train this, your downlines also, the people you bring on board, you train them so that they too will be able to train. You make them to understand why they should attain this training, why they should be serial. It's not a joke. They have to learn because it's a profession. If you don't learn, okay, go and read about it. Let them read. Encourage them to buy books. Encourage them to read. To re especially this GoPro is very good. The book is good. The book we build you will make you to know that in this networking is three things. You, the compensation plan and your product. You need to know your product. You need to know the compensation plan of the business and you need to work on yourself. You need to psych yourself because if you don't know these three things, then you are not ready for business. So that is one of the things that helped us in Nasaba to grow this business so we're doing back-to-back -back training we're encouraging people we're building leaders you have to build your leaders if you can get minimum of two three people on each of your legs build those three people work with them because sometimes it might be difficult for you to work with certain people if the people are not ready you know because me i work with people that are willing if the person is not willing it's going to sap my energy you know i may not bother so much about the person but i'm not i will respect you because you are one of us you are my leader you know, because that's one thing you must do. The the, the leaders, we the stand directors, we should learn to respect, you know, and uh, care for our leaders also. Even if they are not ready to work with you, please just respect them because they are part of your process. Because you cannot mm. abuse your process. Mm. Mm. Yes, you must, you must learn to work with them. If they are not willing, you know, sometimes they also have leaders, you know, so you can take their leaders and work with them. When you are working with their leaders, indirectly you are working with them. Because when you are building the people under her team or his team or whatever, you know, you are indirectly working with the person. As long as you are training the people, the leaders under the person, you are working with the person, and if the person is reasonable, is realistic, is supposed to appreciate you. Because in this business, we must learn how to appreciate our leaders. Because it's, it's not an easy job. All this thing I'm talking about is not easy. That's why you see some people don't succeed. They don't even do this business because they are not ready for the work. Hmm. They're not ready for the work. They want they're to ready. make money, but don't want to work. They're ready for the products. They're not ready for the process. <laughs> wow 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 dog this is if we allow this section it will it will take a longer time and well i'm just enjoying every part and i believe everyone is also enjoying every part of the conversation this is eye-opening success leaves clues guys success leaves clues that's what we're sharing how you can learn from those who have been there you must be ready to go through the process. Don't admire the products, admire the process, guys. Admire the process. Now, I wanted you to talk about stockies as a stockies before. But no. You wanted me to advice. talk about what? I, I want huh? you to give an advice to stockies. Stockies. Okay, as a stockies, to stockies. What advice do you have to those who are stockies in the okay. business? Okay. 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 So for the stockings, they really, I need to- so I know you have helped so many people become a stockist yeah, and yeah. your stockies are doing well. Briefly, what yeah, advice do you have doing, for them? 
Okay, it's okay. At this point, eh, I would like to advise the stalking. You know, first of all, they have to know that they're in a profession. They have to be a professional also, you know, because many of them, I don't know what they were told also, you know, when some of us are prospecting, you know, we tell a lot of things that are not realistic and it's not nice. I want to advise everybody on this. Please don't lie to people. It's not nice. Because when they come on board and they see those things are not there, they are easily discouraged. So tell them mm. the way it is. Tell them the way it is. Because it's not, it's, it's don't allow people to waste their money for things that they cannot do. Because some of them, they are not even ready for the business also. So let them know. They will just tell you that they were told that when they sign up, that they will be, they will be paying them weekly and monthly. Not less than two hundred to three hundred thousand monthly. Where will not we still that kind of money? <laughs> you know, so you know they come up with a lot of stories. So I want to appeal to to everyone in front that when we are prospecting people, please don't lie to people. Just tell them the way it is. You know, tell them the truth. You know that they need to work. That is why is it's called net, networking. You know, is networking. You, there's work in it. It's not just you know, the flashing, flashy things you see. There's a lot of money. You, you can make a lot of money from the business, but you need to set your priority right. You need to work. They should be told this, that they need to work because most stockings, they don't want to work. And I tell my stockings, I train my stockings. I tell them, your focus should be on building the network. That is where the money is because all stockings are VIP and they are paid 12% of every activities that come So they come, they are paid 12% weekly if they are working, if they are leveraging, if they are doing the work. And if they are not working, they are waiting for only stockings any. Stockings any. Uh, we need to get up. <laughs> the highest is 6%, and that is senior stocking. This 6% of the PV. Then if you are a junior stocking, it's 4%. So it's not what you should sit there in office be waiting for. It's not. You have to go out and network because your stockings is part of your main networking business. It's part. It's not the main business. It's part of it. And what I was told, you know, when uh, 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 this guy, I can't remember his name, came from China to train up about stockings, he said, your stockings is supposed to feel it's supposed to feed your team, you know? You are stalking because you want to feed your team, you know, to help you provide products for your team. You know, if other people come to your team, because they will have their own stockings, but if they come, you know, fine. If you don't build your team, who is going to patronize you? Nobody will patronize your business. What are you going to be selling? It's not about just selling, selling. How much are you going to be oh. on developing network? If you are able to build your network, you will enjoy your stockings. Because if you are doing well, if you are training, you know, you are doing well on your network. Because if you are doing well, well why is this going mute all the time? You need to don't train. For you to do well, you have to train your team. You must train them. You must, you must duplicate what you have inside of them. You must make them to be passionate about the business because it's the passion that brings about the success in the business. So if you are able to train those people, now they, they will go all out to do the business, bringing in more people. And these people, they are going to use your stockings office. So if you don't do this, you just sit down on the Stock, uh, see that you know on your business on your stockings business only you are not doing the business that's not the business stockings business is not just the language business it's part of it the main business is your network so please when you are telling them to sign up to pay money to come on board as a stockings let them know that it's just part of the main business the main business is the networking that is where the money right. is that's where you earn percent of that's all it. your activities yes that's it so that uh, for, 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 uh, the the your upline is in what rank? My upline, <laughs> my upline is is still in diamond four. Diamond four, I started yes. at two. Yes. 
Because many people say they need an upline. It's because of their upline, they are not growing. No, no, uh, no. You know, we, we, it's, 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 a, it's a personal thing. It's a personal race. It's a personal mm. thing. It's not about your upline, you know? You have to decide that you're going to do this business. That's it. You, yes, you must decide that you're going to run this business. But you're, you're, you have a role to play. Your upline is just there to tell you the initial, you know, business plan and all that. And after that, if you are smart, you have to go and do your own research yourself. If you want to run the business, you must go and do your own research. You must go and buy books. You must learn with your books, and you must learn from other people. You you have to come, you know, communicate with other people. You know, share ideas with other people. You have to go out to go and and learn the business. You cannot depend on your upline. If you depend on an upline that is not serious, what will you do? You will probably fail because somebody has failed. Doesn't mean that you have to fail too. No. No. And somebody's success is not your success. You have to do your own success. You have to create your own path. It's not, I don't believe in that upline, upline uh, blame. It's not about your upline. I know your upline has a role to play. And what of the upline that doesn't know about the business? You, can even... <laughs> mm. you know, yeah. there are some, yeah, there are many uplines that don't even know about the business. They are telling people a lot of bullshit, a lot of stories that are not even part of long range. They tell you this, that, and it's not part of long range. So some upline don't even know the business, you know? So you have to go and, and get the information out for yourself. You must be passionate all by yourself yeah. and be committed and be ready to build the business. If your upright, up, if your upline is there to help you, it's a plus, it's a plus. Is a plus and it's not about your upline, it's about you, it's your business. That's, that's the common characteristic, guys. Upline is not for you to have success here, it's not about your upline. Mm -hmm. I have to bring that up for, for those who are always complaining, the upline is not supporting them. That's why mm -hmm. they are where they are. Guys, she's star, star director two, our upline is that star, uh, our upline is diamond four. As I, mm -hmm. I got to star director one. My upline was Diamond 5, not Diamond 7. So learn, learn to build, take responsibility over your business and yeah. surely have success in your business. Now, finally, please, <laughs> the car promo is on. I want to talk about it. The car promo is on. We want to qualify for car. What do we need to do? Okay. You just massive recruitment. You have to recruit people to your business. First of all, then after that, you have to enlarge your host. You have to go all out, you know, and encourage your team members. In Long Beach, you have three legs. You have, I like to draw, you know. <laughs> draw like it, draw it, we'll get the memo, yeah. <laughs> In Long Beach, you have three legs, and each of those three legs are expected to bring a, a required PV, you know. If it's uh, the smoker, the smallest is 5 million now, which is 110 PV. You just divide it by three, you know, and that we divide 110 by three. That's about um, 35, 35 thereabouts, or a little bit more than that, 36. And you know what they're going to work for is 36,000 PV for a whole one year is, is achievable. And after doing your calculation, you know, the next thing you are supposed to, what does me, the way I do my, I have to look at the people on each of my legs. I have to look, you know, at my three legs, you know, and I take the first leg. I don't know which is uh, a biggest leg or small. I work with everybody. I don't care. I work with everybody because it's about people. I love making people happy. I love making people to succeed. I love, you know, I love seeing people doing well in the business. Whether you are my team or no, I don't care. I just do it for everybody as long as we are getting it right. You know, so what after the calculation, I check my three legs and I look at the leaders on that, on each of my legs, you know. And you know, some legs are bigger than leg, you know, the other ones. Then on the biggest leg, like where you are now, Chastambo, I don't need to do anything on that leg because <laughs> you are destroying that leg. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you, you know, the business, you know, if you understand the business, it's very interesting and very easy. So I know that I don't need to put so much effort on my big leg. You know, although I have some other uh, uh, global bosses that won't let me rest, but I work with them. So they will not let you rest, too. Uh -uh. For us to have <laughs> let you rest, you will not rest, too. 
<laughs> yeah, so I, I walk with everybody and I know that leg, I have less, I don't really have anything to do because the leaders there, they, they are very eff efficient and they are doing it right and they are okay. They can give me all the PV, even for the biggest car. So I, 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 I leave that leg. I look at the middle leg and I look at the leaders there. The ones that need encouragement, I call them from time to time. It's not just because I want to qualify, because I also want yes. them to qualify. Because once you are able to make your leaders to qualify, it means that you already qualified. That's what it means. So what mm. I do, what I do, I look at the leaders that are having two big legs, you know, the leaders that are working, you know, that are very passionate about the business. So I start calling them, encouraging, encouraging them. Immediately the car promo is out. I start calling them, you know, and create another chat room to encourage them, you know, Please do something, check your legs, the leg that is not working so that you can, you know, uh, put in more people there and work with them so that you are able to qualify, you know, at the end of the year. I just push them, I just encourage them and they are working and go to my smallest leg. I look at that leg. Oh, maybe I don't have enough leaders that are working there, you know, and all that. So I try to like, you know, bring in, recruit more people. You know, I talk to more people. I, I recruit every time, you know, it, for the fact that you're a star director doesn't mean that you should stop recruiting. No, you still bring in people and you also help your uh, your team uh, team members, you know, to, to, you also help them to convince their prospect because sometimes there are some prospects that are very difficult and they will need people that have succeeded in the business. They'll tell you, what have you done? Have you won any car? Have you gone for any trip? You know, what? you have to show let me see you are in a, a, a lot and all that so for such people as a leader you, you at least you should be uh responsible enough to be you know to be their you know be, to, to be a, a, a to give their helping hands you know when they are faced with that kind of problem you know they have to fall back at you and you should also be ready to assist them talk to those kind of difficult prospects and put them you know on their on their legs and all that. Then I look at my smaller leg and I bring in new people. I immediately start working with them. I immediately start working with them. That is what I do. Immediately, I start working with them. I start training them. You, you call, you just have to call because it's you that have that, 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 that have the passion and you have to create that passion in the person and you have to allow the person to know the process because if they don't know the process, they can't, they can't do well. So you have to keep calling them, encouraging them. Do you have any need and all that? And once they are leader too, you have less work. So they will be independent on their own. And what you just do is once in a while, just call them how you are doing. Do you need any help? Is there any area that you are having issues and all that? And it's as easy as that. You have to strategically look at your legs and know where you are not having mm -hmm. enough PV, where you are not doing well, and plan what to do. If you are able to build this, you are able to, you know, uh, uh, see this before time, then you'll be able to arrange the leg and you walk towards it and you see yourself qualifying for, you know, uh, cars and all that. And you see your leaders qualifying because this period is a period of one year, is the law. Is a lot. You can make mistakes and rectify the mistakes and bring them on board and help them to qualify. is is workable. It's very possible if you have your plan at hand. Fantastic, guys! Fantastic. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Ma, for minutes all for sharing uh, your story from the heart and for what you have done for so many people in this profession. We are grateful. Uh, um, you, you have always been a positive and very supportive offline, grand upline. But well, you know, you have you have really helped a lot of people in this business. Uh, anytime we call, you're always there to, to answer us. So thank you for sharing this. I hope you got value today. I want you to drop some emoji on Facebook. I want you to drop some so one 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 if you're on on on, on Zoom. This is great. Uh, maybe in my next episode, you know, I'm I'm planning something for Rudolph. I will need to call call you up again because we need people to come talk about our product. And so we'll call you up so that people need to have a separate testimony of what our products can do. Thank you very much for the time. I know you're a very busy woman. And before we got you today, it's not easy. And so welcome. <laughs>
Thank you very much. So bye, bye, Thank guys. You. Bye. Bye, Thank bye. You, See you guys Thank next you week for having me. and, and our Sunday program. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, okay, bye. 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 Bye-bye.